Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about physics. The topic today is about resultant force. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing we need to draw the diagram in here. We know that this is about 7 pounds. This is about 8 pounds. The angle that is about 41 degrees. So the first one we need to find the magnitude of the resultant force. That should be about this one. So we just use about the formula in here. This is about resultant. We need to find, so I will put about capital R. So the formula of this one, that is about R square equal to 7 square plus 8 square plus number 2 multiplied by 7, number 8, and cosine 41 degrees. So we apply this one and we have. 197.53 now we put the square root for the both sides so we have r equals to the square root of 197.53 and this one we have 14 Point zero five bounce in here. So we can write the answer going here. Question number two. We need to find the angle between the force of seven bounce and the resultant force. So they want to find this angle in here. So we can apply the formula of the triangle. So that should be about A square equals to B square plus C square minus 2BC. And we have cosine alpha. So if they want to find alpha in here, we need to put this I swear go to the right negative 2BC cosine alpha go to the left later that we divide by 2BC So we can apply this one for this one. So we know that this line in here is same the value of this line in here. That's about number 8. So we have a resultant. We can find about alpha in here. So we know that B, that is about 7. C, that's about R. A, that's about number 8 because this angle is opposite the number in here. That's why we have 8. So we put the value cone here. We know that C square. That is about this number to the power of 2. And we will have this number in here. So I will use this number. And we put this one cone here. over number 2 multiply by 7 and this number we need to write that's about 14.05 so we calculate this one 
so we have 0 0.9277 so I'll find here that's about a cosine of this number so this one approximate about 21.93 degrees in here so question number three find the angle between the force of eight bounce and the resultant force so that is about beta in here we know that the total that is about 41 degrees if we want to find beta we just use about 41 degrees minus alpha and this one we have the final answer that is about 19.07 degrees and that is the final answer this is the end thank you for watching